Now on Action News Special Report, the face of homelessness in Philadelphia. It is a changing phenomenon as more and more youths are struggling on the streets, fighting poverty with no place to go. Investigative reporter Wendy Saltzman has the story of four young people who are among those battling life on the streets of Philadelphia. Well, Jim, even though the economy is looking up, many families are still trying to get back on their feet. In some cases, it's their kids that are left to fend for themselves. Shelters tell us they don't have enough beds to care for all the youngsters who desperately walk through their doors trying to escape a life of homelessness. Philadelphia's cold, dark streets hide a hard truth. In the nooks and crannies, on subways and behind the shadows, more and more of our kids are struggling to survive. I see something right here. Now, this is not one of the best places, but it's, it's good enough. 20-year-old Cahill Warren has been homeless for the last four years. Me, I'm kind of like thinking, all right, I hope nobody sees me. Abandoned by his family, the sidewalks of Germantown became his home. Being homeless is really indescribable. Like, it's, it's you, the only way you can actually describe it is by doing it. Victoria Miller. The first time I got kicked out of my mom's house, I was 15. Anthony Robinson. It's difficult, you know, for someone who doesn't have a place to stay to make it out here. And Jerrica King are all homeless. It's not easy in any aspect of the word of being homeless. It's a struggle in everything, finding food, finding shelter, finding clothing. These four young adults have been homeless for between three and five years and have now found shelter at Philadelphia's Covenant House. They'll ride the train if they don't have anywhere to sit until somebody says you have to get up. But it doesn't look like typical homelessness. Uh, they really try to hide in plain sight. Covenant House Executive Director Cordella Hill says volunteers are seeing a lot more kids go hungry with no place to stay, often trying to hide the shame of their situation. A lot of the kids that are homeless look no different than your typical 19 or 20 year old. Uh, many of them may be dressed in the same kind of attire, but we notice things like maybe the cleanliness of their hands. It's very stressful because you never know where you're going to lay your head at the next day, you know, and you never know if like you're going to actually end up on the street or if you like get killed. Robinson has been homeless for almost five years. My life was pretty good until I turned 15, you know, and that's when like, you know, my grandmother died and I started moving around. From one friend's house to another, laying in doorsteps, sometimes in a shelter. I've seen a lot of a lot of friends that I've known personally like die. They they turn to like gangs. Hill warns the Covenant House is now at capacity. I'm scared right now for a lot of our kids. If the community doesn't step in, she fears these youth may spend the rest of their lives as homeless adults. I don't see how we're gonna break the cycle. I don't. Hill says it's impossible to count the number of homeless youth because these kids are often sleeping at friends' houses, in abandoned homes, or just walking the streets, catching a nap when they can. For more information on the Covenant House and a link to how you can help, just log on to our website at 6abc.com. I'm curious to know if this phenomenon is linked to the economy or if it's independent of what has been a faltering economy until recently. I think the problem is really that when the economy goes sour, it's those older kids, the kids that are 15 or 16, that the parents may kick out of the house. They're mm -hmm. busy caring for the kids that are two, three, four, five years old. Interesting. And the older ones are basically just left to fend for themselves. Thank you, Wendy.